Good morning. Welcome to Fish in the Arctic Season 2. Today we're with, with Captain Andrew Moore from Yellowknife Sport Fishing. We've gone on a little bit of an expedition and we've traveled up into the far reaches of the East Arm, about 270 kilometers we traveled yesterday. So it's a ton of gas to get here. It's very new to us. We've both never fished here before. It's all new water, so it's exciting. We get to explore, find some new area to fish, and uh, we're on the hunt for giant lake trout. Hopefully we get uh, a few fish in the boat, but it'd be nice to get a trophy, something over 20 pounds, and it'll just make the day, it'll make the trip. Teach you how to use downrigger, yeah. it's good to go. Andrew's gonna give us a, a full tutorial on how to use downriggers. I've used them in the past, but I think I've used manual ones, and these are fully automatic, so this is a treat. We're gonna learn about his operation and how he fishes out on the water, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can put some fish in the boat. So we're gonna get out there, and we'll see you soon. My drag was on a loose air when I tried to pop the clip out, it uh, didn't come out right away. Oh, I got one too, double header! Nice! <laughs> I was just trying to get my line out of the way. Oh, I think mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> So when we bring the fish in the boat, the way this is set up, it actually works out pretty good. Sometimes they, they we put the net on the uh, on the live well here, and it uh, it really helps. It keeps the fish off the bottom of the boat and allows us to uh, handle the fish a little bit better. So it's a good thing too. Not all fish need to come in the boat, but uh, show you this one here. Oh wow, nice. There you go. Double header. Right on. Nice thing about the barbus hook. Oh. If I get lucky here. No, it's in there. Yeah. Nice leg trout. A real nice one. But he hit as soon as you started bringing it up. Torpedo, back down. Yeah, I was, uh, I brought it up and I forgot to pop the clip and I was like, oh, it won't. So I dropped it back down, I popped the clip and there's like fish on. <laughs> All right, so that's a good way to start the day, a double header. That's, uh, I think that's my first double header of the year, fishing with people. That's there you awesome. go. Good. Yeah. So it's always good to check your line because we are fishing close to the bottom. So you just want to make sure, you know, line gets nicked up, but you got a fairly heavy, you use 40 pound uh, yeah. floral leader. Yeah. yeah, so the nice thing with the heavier line too, is when you're, if you're not going to use a net and you want to grab the line, the thicker line is going to protect your hand. You get a thin line and that fish all of a sudden shakes his head or turns and that line can cut into your fingers and damage you really quick. And safety is number one priority. We are 270 kilometers away from Yellowknife. There's no cell reception, there's nobody out here. Um, so we're all alone. We brought all our safety gear, we're all very highly trained in wilderness survival and safety and you name it. 
Um, so that, that's key. You gotta be safe. You don't wanna do anything that's gonna uh, increase your risk of getting hurt. So that's awesome. So what I'm, just, we got them on a, it's called a CJ, CJ Special. It's a nice heavy spoon. It's got this special wave to it and it's got this cool kick in the water. And uh, so yeah. It's, it's, it's also a Canadian made lure, made nice. out of uh, Victoria. Oh, right BC. All right. Yeah. So it's a salmon spoon. Yep. Originally made by made by Pizza Outdoors. Uh, originally designed for originally designed for salmon. Uh, I've been in touch with the, the company for the last couple of years and uh, using using the salmon stuff for lake trout. It's been super successful and it's been uh, it's been one of my top producing lures next to the uh, next to the Cisco rig. But yeah, it's Canadian made, great. Yeah, I can't go wrong with that. I might have to, uh, I don't think I have any of those types of spoons. Yeah. We're gonna get fishing. Andrew's gonna show us here how to hook up, uh, hook up the downrigger with the Cisco rig. All right, so I'll show you guys how this is done. Very important, you grab the line from the tip of the rod and not anywhere else between the eyelids. It's pretty easy to figure that one out. But grab the tip of the line. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I can, I can do it just by hanging on to the line itself. But it's important to keep it tight so it doesn't flop around and wrap around the tip of your rod. So try and keep the line tight. The downrigger setup I have, I have a pull cord on it, so I can I don't have to reach too far over the side of my boat, and I can pull it in, where I can grab the clip cable, and then with the clip, squeeze it, put the line in the back of the clip itself, keep the line tight. You can do that by hanging on your rod, and kind of pulling on it a little bit. Here, we go. lines tight I put it back in the rod holder to hang on to it and this is a little different reel for for doing this it'll have a bit of a freeze pull on it without back spooling itself so I can drop the downrigger ball and we're at 47 feet so I'm gonna go around probably 42 ish maybe 45 and I just pull the release handle on the downrigger and it drops the ball at a steady pace I have a digital readout Shows me that I'm now at 44 feet. We're at 50 feet on the down on the sonar screen. I can tighten up the drag on my reel, and then I tighten the line down. So it's nice and tight. So it's going to show me any kind of fish strike indication. bait that we have down there you'll see the rod bounce up and down it'll kind of look it'll look kind of like that hopefully it'll buy live strike but it'll you'll see the rod tip jump up and down sporadically and when that happens you pull the rod holder out you reel down a couple times to take any kind of extra slack uh, from the rod to the clip and you quick pop up that'll pop it up out of the clip and you reel up any extra slack at that point and just keep positive pressure on the fish and enjoy the fight right on. well we got one line down we're gonna set up the other one we're gonna put a spoon on that one it looks like and we're gonna uh, see what the fish want and then we can uh, change it up if we find they favor the Cisco over the spoon or the spoon over the Cisco and we'll just uh, you gotta go with the fish what, what they want to eat I like to do both when we start, one, one. one Cisco one, and one spoon, just exactly what we're saying, see what they want. And yeah, you, you can't force feed the fish, you gotta give them what they want. So it's good to just try a variety and uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll be back, we're gonna, uh, it's all new area, so we're gonna explore around and see if we can find some fish. Stay tuned. Older. 
Or what's up? Is it bluer sideways, maybe? Do I got your line, maybe? Yeah. You swam right over into your line. <laughs> Alright, it's got some weight. Well, I managed, I had a fish on and it swam into Andrew's line. My fish came off. So I jigged it a little bit for Andrew and got him a fish. <laughs> He's shaking hard. You need a gnat? I probably will, yeah. I just feel them. This one's got some weight to it. Where are you going? He wants to go that way, but we're drifting this way. Yeah. Got some color there. Oh yeah. It's a good one. Ooh. Oh, it's a tanker. Oh yeah! <laughs> nice! Yeah, yeah. Woo. Oh, that's a pig! <laughs> I don't know where he's hooked that in there. Sticking hands in there. That is a big leg trout. That just made the trip right there. It doesn't matter who catches them, just as long as you yeah. get to see them. Look at that single barbless hook, just in this corner of the lip. Yeah, I don't want him to like uh, snap his, the old jaw snap on me. That's like, uh, 25. Yeah. Easy, more, maybe more. We can do a quick net, wet net, or a net way here. I'll just keep his head in the water. If you yeah, wanna... you got him? Yeah. So it's good, we want to get a picture of this fish, but we're just going to keep him in the water and kind of make sure he's breathing and we'll, we're going to weigh the net with the fish in it. And it'll give us a pretty close idea of what this fish weighs. Yeah, within a pound We're or not two. going for record book. Like, it doesn't matter. We're letting these fish go. We don't want to kill them. 20, 27, 27.2. 27 there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. That is <laughs> awesome, Andrew. Yeah. That is a beautiful fish. Right on. Nice. Let it All go. Right, our first, uh, that's our second trophy of the trip. Give her a sec. She's good to go. See you later. Love you. That was awesome. Nice. Right on. Love it. Nice. Right on, Lake Trout Slime Woo! all over us. <laughs> We 
got a big fish on. We're hooked up with a big one. See this peel in line. I haven't seen it yet, but it uh, feels a lot bigger than what I've caught this today. I'm gonna get this out of the way there. It's coming up. There he is. He's got color. And he's gone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah! Woo! Big fish! <laughs> you grow? Is that a girl? Yeah. That's what out. my kids always say when we get a big fish. They scream, big fish. Just bring it over here. I did it for them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. I don't know where the pliers went. Uh, see, over there? Over there? No. Nope. There you go. I got the net. Good net? Yeah. Do you need pliers? Uh, is that right here? There's pliers if you need them. Yeah, I need them. When you're handing pliers, you always want to make sure you hand them over the net. <laughs> All right, just kind of lower them in a little bit more then. I'm going to guess 20. Want to give them a 23 or 24 is my guess. You know what? That's the biggest fish I've caught in a boat in, for lake trout. I've, I've never caught one bigger than 20 pounds. I've guided some 40s. I caught a 30 pounder through the ice in May. But that's my biggest fish trolling. And who says you can't catch big fish trolling? Well, you proved it. all those haters out there. <laughs> 25... 0.3. 25 pounder. I beat my personal best by five pounds. There you go. That's awesome. Oh, I was gonna give you like a <laughs> awkward pump <laughs> It's okay. I'll, you, I'll hold the net, you do the handling that you wanna do. I'm gonna get on this side. I got the it. Net? Yeah. So it's really important, support the fish's weight and don't drop them. Just hug them in tight. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get him back. Right. Beauty, buddy. He wants to go. He's ready. Oh. See you later. That was awesome. Yeah. Good job. Nice. Right on. Boom! Oh. CJ special. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she hit there, the CJ special. Just kept working that downrigger, keep it off bottom, and bam, looks like we need to fix the hook here, though. It's got a burr on it. Yeah. Should, you got a file? Yeah. So it's really important, keep an eye on your hooks, because sometimes we're taking bottom, so there's a little burr, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kicked up, so we're just gonna hit it with a file. Make sure your hooks are sharp. It'll uh, increase your chances of keeping those fish on. Well, that's awesome. We got two big fish in the boat. We got piles of small ones. Um, what is it? It's only quarter after 10 in the morning. We haven't even had breakfast yet, so it's kind of hard to go in. The fish are biting. We'll stay here till I guess we're having lunch, but stick with us. We're just gonna keep going circles in this spot. There's lots of big fish around, seems like, and hopefully we can uh, 30, the 30 pound mark is our goal today. We want to try to beat. So stick with us. If we get a 30 pounder, you get to join the 30 pound club. You get to write your name on Andrew's boat. 
So that's my goal. I want to write my name on Andrew's boat. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But stick with us. We'll be back with some more great lake trout action. Wow, that was awesome. Nice, buddy. Let's go.